Thank you for participating in this orientation to be approved as a 4-H leader in the Wyoming 4-H program. This session is on the organizational structure of Extension and 4-H, where funding comes from, appropriate uses of the 4-H name and emblem, and the variety of educational programs which are available through 4-H. For this session, it will be helpful to have the following handouts, the organizational chart for Extension and the 4-H Clover use. As you will see on the organizational chart for extension, 4-H is much bigger than you may have ever imagined. The United States Department of Agriculture provides funding through their National Institute of Food and Agriculture to support land-grant universities. There is a land-grant university in every state in the U.S. The University of Wyoming is our land-grant university, and this support is funneled through the College of Agriculture and Natural Resources, where our extension administration offices are located. This support travels to the counties through the county extension offices. There is a 4-H program in every state in the U.S. and in every county and the Wind River Reservation in Wyoming. There are many branches or initiatives of extension, but not every office will have every initiative. The University of Wyoming Extension partners with county governments to help fund and support the local extension program. While each county is a little different, each County 4-H educator responds to needs from both the UW Extension Administration and the local county commissioners. This diagram shows the relationship between those two entities. Each Extension educator is directly supervised by a UW Administrative Associate Director. A very important sector of the Wyoming Extension is the State 4-H Office, which is located in Laramie at the University of Wyoming. They have a State 4-H program coordinator and staff who help guide and support the 4-H program statewide. As a leader, you may get correspondence from their office or see them at state events. The University of Wyoming recognizes that our 4-H volunteer leaders are very important to the effectiveness and the success of the 4-H program. Since UW Extension receives federal funding, we must follow the UW Affirmative Action Plan. This ensures that all 4-H members and leaders are treated equal, regardless of their race, color, religion, sex, national origin, disability, age, veteran status, sexual orientation, or political belief. You may no notice a disclaimer statement on documents created by any UW entity. In 4-H, we make every reasonable accommodation to help youth and adults participate in our programs. The 4-H program is supported by a unique blend of tax funds, county, state, and federal, as well as private donations. State and federal tax funds are used to help pay extension staff salaries and to provide educational materials. County money supports the operation of local extension offices. Private funds support 4-H activities, including camps, awards, judging contests, leader training, and special programs. All funds raised in the name of 4-H are public funds, which mean the funds don't belong to any one individual or club, but belong to the 4-H program. Expenditure of those funds must be approved by club membership and accounted for each year. To help coordinate local fundraising, a fundraising request form must be completed and submitted to the 4-H educator prior to any organized 4-H fundraiser. Each year, all 4-H clubs and groups must complete the chartering process, which accounts for all 4-H money and supplies. The State 4-H Office is responsible for all 4-H accounts in Wyoming, so it is important that leaders provide the 4-H educator with all the information they need. The name and emblem regulations are highlighted in the 4-H Clover Use Handout. The 4-H Clover is one of the few emblems that are regulated by law and may only be used within the guidelines set by the USDA. The official 4-H emblem is a 4-H leaf, leaf clover with an H in each leaf, with the stem turned to the right. The emblem may be two-dimensional, flat, or three-dimensional with shadows that show depth and perspective. The emblem can only be used for educational or information uses, which the Cooperative Extension Service deems to be in the best interest of the 4-H program, and which can be properly controlled by CES. For example, making a flyer for a club activity or printing club t-shirts using the emblem is an acceptable use. Selling your private animals and marketing them using the 4-H emblem is inappropriate. 
If you have a question about the appropriate use, please contact your local Extension Office prior to the use of the emblem. Opportunities in 4-H range from the 4-H Club to international travel opportunities. Leaders should encourage youth to participate in as many opportunities as possible. At the club level, youth will learn many leadership skills and practice community service. It is important that youth find a club that is a good fit for their interest and schedule. Most clubs range from 5 to 25 members. Each club may meet regularly throughout the year or only part of the year, depending on the project and the interest of both leaders and members. Some clubs will have a special project focus, such as livestock or clothing and foods. Many opportunities in Wyoming happen at the county level, including educational opportunities and competitions. Youth come together for many state events also. Showcase showdown, state shoot, and state fair are just a few statewide activities. National leadership opportunities are open to all 4-H youths, regardless of their project area, club, or their years in 4-H. International opportunities are also available to senior age members, and they vary from each year. Thank you for participating in this orientation. Please remember to visit the State 4-H website and complete the evaluation. Your completion status will be forwarded to the County 4-H Educator.